Greetings, Internet! I am Ken from the Computer Clean here today to demo Apple's new OS, OS XL Capitan, introduced at WWDC 2015. This is the first developer preview, so let's dive right in. Window management has been updated inside of El Capitan, so let's open up a bunch of windows. Woo, look at this. We're going nice and fast. All right, so Expose and Mission Control have been inside the system for quite some time, so have virtual desktops. This interface should look kind of familiar. But there's some nice little tweaks. For example, the way the windows get highlighted has a little bit of a different HUD design. And the bar at the top is more compact until you move your cursor up there. Then it grows the thumbnails. So some nice little UI tweaks are present right there. Virtual desktop management is simpler than ever. So if I want to put an app on another virtual desktop, let's say the Photos app, all I have to do is drag it to the top, move it to the corner, and drop it right there. So now that app is on its own virtual desktop away from everything else. I can keep doing that with others. I can drag other windows in there. And I can even drag windows in between these panels and create a separate full screen environment for that app. So now this full screen environment is just the app. Another tweak is split screen, full screen views. So I can take another window here, and let's say I want to use it with Safari in my full screen mode. I can drag it right in and get this little plus button with the split screen there. You see that? So I can just drop it wherever I want, and it automatically splits the two full screen panels. If you've used Windows 8, this is kind of how that works. There's even a little divider here you can drag to change the size of these two different panels. Spotlight is now a little bit smarter in El Capitan. Users can use more natural sentences and phrases to look up information. There's more Siri-like information integrated as well, such as a simple stock lookup. I can just get information right here. But it also still works as a document searcher. I can search the computer clan, for example, get my top hit with all my document previews, music, any other files that relate to that. And these new search functions aren't just present in the new Spotlight window here, but also throughout any area where there is a search field, such as in the Finder or the Mail application. So I could say, like, documents older than a week, and I can get documents that have a date that comes before this week. So in addition to some of the new search functionality, the window is now also draggable, and you can also resize it. And when you drag the window into the center here, you'll see it snaps right there so you know how to center it. Now let's take a look at Notes. Notes has been redesigned with tons of great new features. For example, we have little thumbnail previews here in the list. We have interactive checklists. We have the integrated Photos browser. We can put in other attachments in addition to Photos, such as website previews. And it's all really nice and simple. And this new button right here lets you browse all of the attachments. So across all of my notes, here are my photos, here are my websites. I can just get everything in one view without having to go across all my different notes. Let's take a look at Safari. There's some nice tweaks with Safari. So you can now have pinned sites right on the side here. And a nice little piece of fit and finish is if a favicon isn't detected, the browser will still assign an initial with a dominant color highlight right there. So just some nice little UI bits right there. So I can get to my pin sites right here. No problem. Greetings, Internet. I'm Ken and if I have audio playing in a separate tab, I can also mute it if I want. Safari also will integrate AirPlay for web video. So when you want to AirPlay a web video currently, you kind of have to mirror your whole Mac display to your AirPlay device. But now you can AirPlay web video built right in. That AirPlay functionality is also built into QuickTime now. The Photos application will be getting some great new features soon from third-party developers. For example, let's say I want to edit a photo here, and I go into my editor. I have all these great built-in adjustments and all this other great stuff, but in future builds, there will be third-party extensions that can extend the capabilities of this Photos application. The Maps application now has transit data integrated, so I'm in my city right here with my 3D view, but I can just click this button, and now I have my transit information right here. So that's a quick look at some of the larger features of El Capitan, but now let's look at some of the more subtle things. As you may have noticed, there is a new system font. This is the San Francisco typeface that was introduced with the Apple Watch. So you'll be seeing that across the entire system. 
In addition, you may have noticed some of the animations run a little bit faster. For example, switching into full screen and out of full screen runs a little bit faster. And some applications will have nice little interface tweaks in terms of the design. So for example, Disk Utility, this one actually had a lot of nice changes. The toolbar was redesigned, it has a new sidebar here and new little bars showing my disk space. It has a new partitioner with a nice little pie chart here. So you'll be seeing some nice tweaks in terms of that kind of stuff throughout El Capitan as well. El Capitan is also a refinement of Yosemite. That's one of the main focuses. So you'll be seeing some performance tweaks as well. I'm running this on an external SSD so I can't test the speed natively with the computer's built-in flash. But as you saw, when we were running the multi-window stuff, stuff opens up pretty quickly here. So you may notice some nice little speed boosts inside of El Capitan. Another nice tweak is inside of the system preferences. This is a new setting. So before you could hide your dock, but now you can hide the menu bar. So you can have your dock and menu bar hidden and you just have this really nice open space to work. When I have no windows open, I literally just have a cursor here, but I can still summon the menu bar whenever I want and I can summon the dock whenever I want too. There's also some great developer features coming to El Capitan. I already mentioned extensions for the Photos app, but there's gonna be a new extensions gallery for Safari as well. In addition, Swift 2 is the updated version of Apple's new programming language that is being open sourced, so that's great. Also, Metal, which was introduced with iOS 8, is coming to the Mac. So, OpenGL and OpenCL applications can have more performance, but also more efficiency. So this is the first developer build of OS X El Capitan. There will be more in the future. There will also be a public beta. The final release will be available in fall for free. And if your Mac can run Yosemite, it will run El Capitan. Thanks for tuning into this demo. Feel free to share your opinions about El Capitan in the comments below. And don't be a stranger. If you have a question, feel free to ask. I will do my best to get back to you and give you the information you need. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the not-too-distant future. Hey, do you want to see our new comedy series, Ken's Cinema of Shenanigans? If you do, you can watch the pilot right here. Perhaps you want to see our Anime Central cosplay music video. If so, you can click right here. So now let's take a look at Spotlight. Spotlight is a little bit smarter now. You can use more natural phrases and sentences to look up information. More information is also integrated, such as stock lookups and weather lookups. You can do that inside of... What the hell? Now let's take a look at Spotlight. Spotlight is a little bit smarter. It can now use more natural phrases to look up information. More information is also integrated, such as... Well, it was doing it earlier. There it is. <laughs> Let's try that again. I could say documents older than a year. And, um, there's no way this is older than a year. That's bullshit. That is a loud air vehicle going over there. Let's let that go by. There's also some great developer features coming to Yosem Yosemite. Wow. <laughs> this is the new ver- They, they new ver- Ooh, yuck. I can't talk today. Greetings, Internet! I am Ken from the Computer Club. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> right when I started recording. Woo! From Florida. All right. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Bob, please? Uh, Bob? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have missed out. Excuse me. That's okay. All right. Blooper reel. Woo! All right.